In this video, I want to share with you a quick little two-play mini blitz scheme that you can use against tight slots or any compression set. Actually, honestly, any set where they're not running a lot of play action. So whether it be bunch, whether it be tight slots, whether, it does not matter. There's a really, really good little blitz concept. And important for running this, we're going to run our auto flip off, our auto alignment set to baseline, and our ball and our defense to play ball. And I'm just gonna come over here and we're gonna show why this is so good, specifically against tight slots. Um, and we're just going to use the play flood. Now, if you guys wanna get my full big nickel over G defensive guide, I'm gonna put a link to that in the description of the video. Um, you can get all of my eBooks by joining my Patreon. Only $10 to sign up, gets you access to everything, including my big nickel, my big nickel over G. All right guys, so the two play scheme, it's actually gonna be done primarily out of both um, concepts, but basically we're going to go back and forth between strong safety blitz two, if I can find it, and weak safety blitz two. So as you can see, strong safety, these two blitz schemes, okay? Now, um, I, I pretty much can show most of, it, most of it out of strong safety blitz two. And it's really simple setup. Literally, we're going to show blitz, we're going to pinch our defensive line we're going to crash our defensive line out and we're going to bring this guy really important bring him in just a step or two now if the in in this example you notice that the tight end is on the right side of the screen so we're going to blitz this guy because we're going to blitz opposite of the tight end so you see here we're going to blitz this guy and now with this defender we can actually put this guy in whatever zone we want such as a deep half to the side so if we want to put him in a deep half this side we can and then we can roll this guy over to the left side and then have you know kind of a middle third like this if you will okay just kind of a, an amoeba coverage but i just want you to focus primarily on the pressure so what you'll see here is the blitz will come off of that left side very consistently now what makes this so good is the pass protection principles that are built into shotgun formations specifically formations that are not based around play action so you're basically the bottom line is we want to blitz away from the tight end so if we wanted to do it from this we could audible to the play weak safety blitz two here and what you'll see is it will look exactly the same and we'll have that rolled coverage already built in and all we have to do is slide this guy over and we can basically guarantee this pressure is going to come in you'll see here one more time very simple comes right off the edge so whichever side the tight end is on, you are gonna blitz off of the other side. So in this example, we're going to blitz off of the left side of the screen, which is the safety blitz, so or the, the weak safety blitz. So you see here we come in now here. Now, really, really important, okay? Really, really, really important. If they block their, uh, let's say they block their tight end. What you'll see here is a lot of times this pressure will still come in right there. Um, it honestly kind of messed up a little bit, but a lot of times this will still come in consistently and I'll show it in a, I'll show it one more time here. But what you'll see is as long as we blitz opposite the tight end, this can significantly, and I mean significantly help this. You just want to move him in like, we're talking like maybe a step or two, like real, real subtle, okay? But anyways, this is them zoning off their tight end, or I'm sorry, blocking their tight end. And what you should see here is the pressure should come off of that left edge. Now, if for whatever reason it is not coming off of the left edge, all you have to do is blitz the linebacker that is on that side. And instead of crashing your line out, you're going to crash them down. So you see here, we're gonna do it like this. And what this is gonna create is now this linebacker will be on a contained blitz angle, just like this. And he will actually be the guy that is gonna be fairly consistent if they block their tight end. So if they block their tight end, you see the safety still comes off of the edge very consistently now this is even better against a blocked running back and this is really the beauty of the of the of the play so if they block their running back what you'll notice with this is this will come in every single time regardless you'll see right here comes right in let me show you what happens when they block their running back basically the basically the contain will essentially loop right around him so again you're going to contain and then you're just going to slide this guy in like we're talking like just enough to get him on a contain. Typically just put him right over the slot receiver. And then I'm gonna block my tight end or my running back. 
and you see he's going to loop around the running back and at least they're going to feel the pressure if not just flat out get a sack now i want to talk a little bit about another thing that you can do off of this if you just wanted to use ss blitz 2 now the biggest problem with ss blitz 2 is that this tight end for whatever reason is just an absolute incredible pass protector so you'll see here if i block my tight end here um, sometimes this contain will actually still loop around but it's not super consistent so you'll see again if i try to do this um you know it might come in every two or three times but it's not going to be something that's like crazy consistent um and so you'll see it again here see how we get this pass off but didn't quite come in and now they have time to be able to throw a pick or whatever they need to do but you see the idea okay so let's say that they let, let's say that they flip their play on you this is something very very popular well now we're going to run this version of the blitz we're going to run ss blitz 2 instead of weak safety blitz 2 and you see it's basically it's a better version of the same basic thing so you see here bring this guy down now you've got the tight end over here so if they block their running back well that's not going to be able to pick this pressure up. You're going to see this looper is going to come around every single time for a sack. And this is why the big nickel over G, in my opinion, is the best defense in the game because you can force pressure in really powerful ways. So let me give you another example. Um, if we, if let's say they flip their formation. Well, now, and they're going to block their tight end. If we want to guarantee our pressure, all we have to do is just blitz this this guy right here savage maybe move him out just a little bit so he goes on the contain but as you can see right here i'm going to block my tight end and typically this is going to still come in that contain is going to basically dumb out the tackle on that side and they're not going to be able to pick up the pressure so in essence we're going to roll the coverage in a two by two or roll the pressure in two by two to really take advantage of these edge rushers so it's a way of sending six and the other thing real quick that you can do occasionally so let's say you've got something like this you can actually drop that backside guy oftentimes you can drop him in his own and it'll still come in that time wasn't able to get it in but a lot of times the looping concept will still come in if you drop your uh, players backside so i'll show you an example so i'm going to block my tight end here i'm going to go to ws blitz 2 and with this version of it you don't actually have to contain you just simply have to um, you just have to make sure that your linebackers on a contain so you might want to spread them But what you should see here. There we go. He's on a contain. I'm over here And then what we're gonna do on this is we're gonna drop this backside defensive end So we're still only sitting five We have a vert hook and we have the, the, the two uh, deep halves and a lot of times what you'll see is this can this will cause some really crazy disengages and a lot of times it will loop around it didn't quite there for me one thing you need to make sure that you uh, you might want to do real quick is you might want to make sure that this guy's on the contain. So you just slide him in a little bit and then you're right here. And then again, we drop this guy backside. Make sure that blitz angle on the right side is not super, you know, you want him to be kind of, kind of popping out like that. That's a little bit more effective. And a lot of times this contain will just flat out run or you'll get this B gap pressure. So that's a way that you can kind of hedge your bet um, and still only have to send five and this is what makes big nickel over g so good and if you wanted to you know you could do something like this and you know you could even do something i mean you could do something crazy like you could go um you know deep half from that slot corner out of big nickel you know you've got this guy here you've got a deep half over there and then now this guy you're gonna you're gonna blitz him off the edge you're gonna blitz this guy and then you see you see how this can all kind of come together for you and this is such a good defense. I, I literally can't tell you how much success I've had with those pressures out of this formation. And if you wanna learn more about this defense, make sure that you get into our membership, my membership, Patreon membership, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. If you wanna check it, it's in the description. Um, it's only ten dollars to sign up and it literally gets you access to everything all of our ebooks all of our schemes all of our guides all year long thank you for watching the video if you want to check out the membership there's a link in the description make sure you hit it and go check out the defense